Hey guys, Robin Minton State Bushcraft. Well, earlier today I had to run into town to pick up some supplies for the homestead and some things that I needed before my Kentucky trip. So I had every intention on, on going to Walmart and buying a Nozark Trail uh, folding saw because I need a pruning saw. Well, that didn't work out. I wasn't very impressed with their selection. So I headed over to Lowe's. Knowing that Lowe's sells Corona, I, I had every intention on purchasing a Corona. But when I got there, they had, I think it was 20 inch Corona. Now granted, it was only $20, so it was within my budget. But I just didn't want to saw that big. I already carry the Bob Destrude quick buck saw, and I just wanted something smaller that I could stick in a cargo pocket and prune smaller limbs when needed. So I walked over to the tool aisle to see what they had over in the tool aisle, and I found this one, okay? It's your typical folding saw. It has your locking mechanism on there. It comes with three blades, a wood, a wood slash plastic, and a metal cutting blade. So if you have projects around the house that call for a small handsaw, this will fit the bill. But for what I need this for, to prune a few branches around camp or around a hunting site, this will do just fine. It does come with a sheath, your typical um, nylon sheath. Um, your blades, your other blades store inside, okay, it has your belt loop on the back, but it also has a snap loop that you can stick it to one of the straps on your pack or a molly strap. So that's not bad. I mean, for a budget friendly piece of gear, it's not bad at all. I did test this on flint. It is most likely, I, did, I scraped off the, the uh, black oxide coating. I did try to strike flint, it does not strike flint, so that leads me to believe that it's a stainless blade, which is fine, that's fine, because it still will strike a ferro rod, and if you're going to have a tool, you might as well make it multiple use. So like I said, it's got this locking mechanism, open up, blade locks in place, depress it again to fold it back. It's not bad. I mean, you could stick this without the sheath in your back pocket, in a cargo pocket, or just let it ride in a pouch in your pack. But for a budget-friendly item, my first impression is, I'll give this a thumbs up, you know? Add one of these to your pack if you're on a budget. It won't disappoint you. This is Rod with Mint State Bushcraft. Get outside.